I don't know if I will have the time to write any more letters because I might be too busy trying to participate. So, if this does end up being the last letter, I just want you to know that I was in a bad place before I started high school, and to help me. Even if you didn't know what I was talking about, I know someone who has gone through it. It made me not feel alone. Because I know there are people who say all these things don't happen, and there are people who forget what it is like to be sixteen when they turn seventeen. I know. This will all be stories someday. And our pictures will become more photographs, and we will all become somebody, mom or dad. But right now, these moments are not stories. This is happening. I am here, and I'm looking at her. And she is so beautiful. I can see it. This moment, when you know you are not a sad story, you are alive. And as you stand up and see the lights on building, and everything that's made you wonder, and you are listening to the song on the drive. With the people you love most in this world, and in this moment, I swear, we are infinite. If. It were done. When this done, then, twere well it were done quickly. If the assassination could tumble up, the consequences, and catch with his success, success. The body's blow might be all and the end. All here. But here, upon this bank and shore of time, we turn the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here. That we but teach blood the instruction which being taught we turn to plague the inventor. This even-handed justice commends ingredients. Of our poison, shallows to our own lips. He here never thirst. First, as I am his kinsman, and his subject, strong both against the dead. Then, as his host, who should again his murderer shut the door or not? Better than I for myself. Besides, this Duncan has borne his faculties so meek, has been so clear in his grace of his, his virtue to please the angel. Trumpet, tongue. Again, the divination of his taking off, and pity like a naked newborn babe, striking the blast of heaven, cherubim host upon the silent couriers of the air, shall blow the heart in every eyes. That tear shall drown the wind.
I, I have no spur to prick the sides of my indent, but only voting ambition, which will leave itself and fall on the other. <laughs>